Daytona International Speedway, the NASCAR Nationwide Series, opening up the 2013 season. Coming to the checkered flag, we had a horrific crash. Let's look at the pictures now. Out front, Regan Smith gets turned into the fence. But watch behind him as the cars collect. The white car of Kyle Larson competing for Rookie of the Year honors into the catch fence. Debris scattering everywhere along the front straightaway. And when Larson's car came to a rest on the infield, you see the results. Now the good news is Larson climbing from his race car. But as we told you, debris went into the grandstands including his engine, which was embedded in the catch fence. Certainly very, very scary moment as they wrap things up this afternoon at Daytona International Speedway. There you see the tire. There you see the engine. Both of those from the Kyle Larson machine. And now we head live to Daytona International Speedway and welcome in Bob Dilmer. Bob, certainly a scary moment this afternoon in nationwide competition. Tell us the latest as you are there at the track and have been following the story. Well, emergency workers still tending to some people over there in the grandstands and also the catch fence that came apart when Kyle Larson's race car hit it tremendously at the conclusion of that NASCAR Nationwide Series race. We gotta report the facts. We can do no more than that. And right now we know that emergency workers tended to about what it looks like four or five people in the grandstands here. And the wreck had some debris that went into the grandstands and from what we were able to tell it looks like a tire possibly with some suspension parts wound up in the lower part of the grandstands in the H section. That's all we know right now. We know that they have been tending to about four or five people in the grandstand, all the emergency workers here, and a lot of emergency workers already trying to take care of that fence as well. Now, we saw the engine get caught up in the fence. The fence did its job, but what we can tell, at least by what, we, what it appears on the replay of that wreck, is it looked like a tire might have shot over the fence on the front stretch here and into the grandstands. And again, one more time, here is the wreck. Kyle Larson, his car gets caught up in the fence after colliding with Brad Keselowski and Regan Smith, and parts go everywhere. The engine torn off in the fence, a tire and the hub, suspension parts in the fence as well. And like I said, one tire and some suspension parts, it seems, looks like it wound up in the lower level of the grandstand here on the front stretch at Daytona International Speedway. We'll certainly fill you in as soon as we know more. Sometimes in these situations, Bob, you, you forget about the fans and that they are in harm's way and you think so much about the drivers when you have a dramatic crash like what we had today. Kyle Larson, certainly into the catch fence. We showed him climbing from the car. He eventually went to the infield care center, talked with reporters. We know he is okay. A number of other drivers also went to the care center. Can you tell us about any possible injuries in that regard? Uh, right now, from what we heard, everybody seems to be okay. We're still awaiting word on Michael and Nett, but at the same time, all the drivers that were involved in the wreck, w we know that they're very concerned, as is everybody here at Daytona, from the racetrack to the media to NASCAR, the teams, and so forth, about the fans that were in the grandstands and possible debris getting caught up and possibly going into those grandstands and affecting some of those people. So that is the main concern right here, because they are the innocent bystanders. They are the people that make this sport work and we all know as Tony Stewart said in Victory Lane this is a dangerous sport the drivers accept that responsibility that they have some danger on the line but the folks that come and see this race they are not expected to be in danger a lot of drivers walking away from this one just kind of shaking their heads in disbelief over what happened but it is certainly a scary situation here at Daytona it's reminiscent of the Camping World Truck Series race several years ago here when Jeff Bodine got caught up in the fence here and parts scurried all over the place so right now we know about four or five people tended to by the emergency team here at Daytona International Speedway and we know that a, some suspension as well as a tire wound up in the lower part of the grandstands here at Daytona. All right, Bob, we'll continue to come back to you live as the situation warrants. Thanks for your information tonight. Again, breaking news in the Speed Center this afternoon, coming to the checkered flag in the final lap of this afternoon's nationwide series race. A horrific crash. Kyle Larson went into the catch fence.
We also had an earlier accident when Michael Annette went to a local hospital. He is being treated there. For all the latest news, keep it to speed. We'll have break breaking news throughout the night. I'm Adam Alexander. Thank you for being with us. Now we go back to our regularly scheduled program. It's Sprint Cup Series final practice from earlier today.